complaining that the ice cube trays are not filled up, especially during hot summer days. That's right, but we have some great ideas on how you can use your ice trays for some smart and unexpected ways. First, a couple of things that I have for you are all about your drinks and how you can zhuzh them up with some interesting ice. You ready? I am. Step on over to my office. First things first, <laughs> we all have got some lemons in the house, right? Sometimes I buy too many, so why not freeze them in some ice cubes? It's really easy, cut them up. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle in an ice tray. Do you have to say sprinkle, sprinkle yes, while you're doing you do. it? Yes, you do. You absolutely do. No, I'm kidding. It's optional. You can say something else. Say abracadabra, whatever floats your boat. Then pop them. Boozdy, boozdy, bop, zitty, bop. There you go. And then you'll get lovely little ice cubes like this. Check it out. There's so a lemon in there. Lemons are frozen in there, right? Another idea. We've you know what, got, hmm. what would be really cool with that is, you know how you get those uh, bourbon ice cube trays like I got yeah. Jay, you use distilled water uh -huh. and then you have this lemon in a, in a completely clear ice cube that you could drop in your drink. How cool is that? See, we're coming up with ideas. We're taking life up a notch on, on Live in the D. So then how about some fruit juice? Okay. Sometimes there's some left over. Make those into ice cubes too. You know how to do that. Just pour them in the ice tray. And then of course don't spill it like I just did. But then when you're done, you've got lovely little ice cubes of, of uh, fruit juice. And then you know what you do. Because you know we don't want to stop there. Just drop that right in your vodka and you're good to go. Vodka. <laughs> not on the show. It's not noon yet. Can you open this for me? Sure. So I'll I hope I can because it would be pretty embarrassing if I couldn't. No, you got it. That's what we keep you guys around for up in here. There we go. Yes. So fill this up and you can sip on this as we go along. So here, this is it. Like I said, you're going to zhuzh up your drinks a little bit. So instead of just sparkling water, maybe you have company coming over. You can take it up a notch with some interesting, pretty, and flavorful ice cubes there you go thank you then of course ice coffee you guys know I'm an enthusiast gotta have my coffee and in the summertime I like iced coffee so Boom. here's your coffee looks like motor oil freeze it because it has to be that strong freeze some coffee and then guess what no more water down uh. iced coffee how about that all right now here's another one it's summertime there are tons of beautiful fresh herbs all over the place. Yes, right? you should see my wife's basil outside. Okay. In the garden. Speaking of, I've got some basil right here. Put those into your ice trays. And I've got some basil and I've got some thyme. Fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Add a little olive oil to each ice tray. Doesn't it smell good? Basil. You're telling me the olive oil freezes? It freezes. Yes, sir, it does. And then you'll get little cubes. Like this right here. So when you're ready to cook, you just pop them out of an ice tray. Okay, they started to melt, but you get the idea. They're right here. You'll have your, your herbs frozen in a block of ice. What if you wanted basil with your eggs? Well, what do you know? I've got a solution for that, too. This all came from my mom. One time I had these eggs. I was like, Mom, they're about to expire. What should I do with them? She said, just scramble them up and freeze them in ice trays. And that's exactly what I did. Now, you You're telling me those are, are cooked scrambled eggs? No, no, no. These are just scramb raw scrambled oh, eggs. Oh, raw scrambled eggs. And then what you do is you can just cook them. And we'll Whoa. show you what these look like. See how they're cooking up? Looks like regular eggs. You just cook these up, and they last forever. So what I would do is kind of like use them to make omelets or just... Scramble them up, and then you can take one of your, uh, whoa, they're sliding around all over the place. Thank you, Jason Carr, for bringing in this griddle for me, by the way. Actually, can while you're doing that. Can we talk about the griddle? Yeah, that came out of my, my wife's grandmother's basement. I don't know how long it hasn't been in use, but this is the box. That's right amazing. Here. When did you say this from, like 84 or something? I could be even longer than that. Look at that. There's like the original bill of sale, and if something wow. went wrong with this griddle, you had to take it to an address on 7 Mile for service. Boom. The good old days That's when you could actually get service. So now you can't, you see, you're not going to see the whole egg cooked Look at down. that. That's a... Oh, look, it's scrambled eggs. Come on. And behold, it's still for Kevy. You get it? That is, uh, that is the weirdest thing I think I've seen in quite some time, an ice cube of frozen raw egg turning to scrambled eggs I'm on a skillet you, right that. in front of my eyes. Thanks, Mom. She's the one who came up with this idea or who told me to do this. Saved a dozen eggs. Wow. Not bad, right? I don't know how I talk Tell that. us if you like any of these ideas. Hit us up on our Live of the D Facebook page. We'll be right back. I'll be scrambling eggs. Wow, this was bought on Livernoy. Wow. Is there a date? Hey, hey, hey.